Oh, look how Austinite we look. Look how Austin-y. Oh, oh, wait, wait, let me get my Tupper Chica bottle. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hello, Epic Hero. I'm Chris. This is my girlfriend, Evelyn. Hello. You may have met her before in this video. Or, or, yeah, that video. We're here to recap the month of June. Which, until, like, right now, I was completely blank in the head about what even happened in June. I still am, so this is gonna be educational for me also. <laughs> June, as we all know, or most of us know, is the month of Pride. Last year, we didn't do that much to celebrate Pride during June, at least I didn't, because Austin Pride Parade is in August. But I still found that this month was super gay, and that's what I, it's gay. it was a very gay month. I went to Cuties. Mm. Which is a queer and trans meetup. I wish I could have joined you. It's yeah. such a bummer that I was not feeling so well. You should totally go out. to the other ones. There were some new queer and trans people that came. And it's like super low key. It was in Genuine Joe's, yeah, which is a nice. gay coffee shop. So gay again. Count the gays. <laughs> and um... <laughs> on screen or <laughs> queer, queer bomb. bomb. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had a queer bomb. Last minute, just realized queer bombs today and had an opportunity to go and threw myself together and went and had a really good time. I feel so weird that I haven't even asked you this yet, but what exactly do they do at queer bomb? It's just a huge party. Oh, <laughs> it's nice. really all there is to it. For queer people. I mean, there's like uh, different stuff going on, but the gist of it is it's just a big party. Mm. And it was fun. I made platonic friends. <laughs> It's like a milestone. We're Polly, by the way, if you're new yeah, here. Yeah, a, a bit. She likes to make all the cute friends. I do make all the cute friends. But I made cute friends that I don't intend on dating. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Queer Bomb, met a couple of people that I was hanging out with, and it turns out amongst that group of people was... Oh, the, the envy that I went on a date with the, the next day. The person that you went on a date with the very next day. Right. We have a small community, apparently. <laughs> I think it's like that with queers. Yeah, that date was hella gay. We like had it inside a um, feminist, LGBT positive <laughs> bookstore. How many buzzwords can we put in there? <laughs> and also, we there was a girl there who was um, signing her book. Someone that was there for the event, my date had met at Queer Bomb last night, and they were like, "You queer person!" And they like we like had this whole they had this whole geek out session about women's health issues. And you and I went on some we cute did. little dates. We've done a few things. Vivi's been visiting us a bunch. Um, uh -huh. A cat that lives around the apartment. For some reason, a lot this month. Maybe because it's been raining, I don't know. And we all know that every good lesbian couple <laughs> needs a cat friend. <laughs> that she was literally trying to cuddle us in her bed. Her witch is familiar. <laughs> <laughs> we took a lovely photo shoot of her, which I very much enjoyed. And to set up her own new Tinder profile. Yeah, that's a thing that's happening again. <laughs> So, it's been a while. That's gay. Not exclusively. Not, no, no, that's true, not exclusively. But it includes But being gay. bi is part of the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. So, it's still, it's still... It's gay in the general sense. That's true. But it's also just gay. It, half of it is just gay. Or some percentage. <laughs> some <laughs> arbitrary percentage of that is gay. 50% precisely gay. 50% <laughs> approximately gay. <laughs> See, everyone I go on a date with is it, it's gay. So, mm -hmm. all my dates this week, week. <laughs> this month we're gay. There was like um, a new member at my coffee shop that just happened a couple days ago who was super um, affirming and mm -hmm. very uh, aware. Like I knew, like half the people that work at my coffee shop are gay and that's been my experience working at coffee shops I think is kind of a thing. I love it. He's like super uh, similar to me. Um, and us in general, as far as like interests, like he loves games and cartoons and Steven Universe specifically. So I'm just like, yeah, you're a good one. Oh, I got all my mask, my mask clothes. Yeah. I went on this um, this uh, shopping spree and got a bunch of, of more mask clothes. Like I've really, really been wanting. And the best part is because you went on a shopping spree for mask clothes, you spent the equivalent of a non-shopping spree oh. for femme clothes. Oh yeah, that's true. It wasn't very expensive. Um, plus Goodwill. But it looks, like this looks like it would be like, I don't know, it's like a super nice, really nice outfit and it got like three or four at least, if you're not counting mixing matching. Also, this is the first time in my life that I've ever looked 
as dressed up as her. Every time we go out, I'll just wear like jeans and a t-shirt or shorts yep. and a t-shirt, and she's all dressed to the nines, all stylish, and that is more her thing. But now I can, no, now can I match. somewhat match it if I want to in my own way. Oh, also just like a ton of support. My sister is one of the most supportive members of my immediate family. So it's really nice to hang, get to hang out with her. And then we hung out with my aunt and uncle a couple yeah, of days ago. and that was super fun. And cousin. We just played games. We just played board games and uh, it was none of this, you know, family board game night nonsense. No, this was like a hardcore strategist board game night. Which it you was love. really involved and it was a good time. They had like hardcore strategy board games, which I'm getting better at. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, getting better sure. at learning them faster. And when I first start learning them, they seem really intimidating, but then I'm getting better. But anyway, yeah, it was nice to like... Speaking of intimidating board games... Yeah? Oh! I had a friend that was clearing out some of their collection to make space for their new place. And I managed to acquire this monster. <laughs> Let's see if I can carry it. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, the box is breaking. Yeah. This is, well, this is the bottom half of the box. A oh. Gloomhaven. It's like 50 pounds. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna have fun with this soon. I'm this really is a game. This is it. It one really is a game. game. Okay. I've seen her play it peripherally. <laughs> it looks complicated, but I'm sure it'll also be lots of fun. Oh yeah, it's tons of fun. I'm just gonna shout out to our friend Al too. Al for ally. No, sorry. Um, Al is an ally of everyone. <laughs> yes. And she, and she was super supportive because I was about to shout out just like queer friends that we hung out with, and Al is not a queer friend but Al is an ally and has been hardcore supporter of us. And so that was really nice. But also we've just hung out with a bunch of queer friends this month. Um, at least I have like hang out with Christy and Sarah. And I mean, I was just mentioning, thinking of Michael. H how did all of that happen in one month? Yeah. It didn't even feel like a it, busy month. It didn't. Even though I'm the one who purchased the the clothes this, this month, I've You've been looking hella fine. Thank you. <laughs> your new hair <laughs> color and your, all your clothes that you've bought in over the last couple of months. You, mm -hmm. You've been looking so snazzy. I don't think I've bought any of these clothes. Well, acquired. Acquired, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun thing about being the trans friend is I get all of the hand-me-downs from like everyone forever. It's fantastic. Mm. My mom's been giving me a bunch of clothes and they fit and that's so validating. Aww. You've worn a lot more dresses recently and... Mm -hmm. Stuff and I feel like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm doing the um, Whoops. the no pants summer. Oh, right. right? I didn't even mention that. No, I thought you were sticking with that. No. Oh, I've been sticking with it. I have not worn pants this summer. It's all been skirts and dresses, and I've been femme as hell. It's awesome. You look great. <laughs> I love I've loved it too. This is not really gay. Maybe it's gay, but we've both been doing some crafting type of things recently. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could argue it. I wanted, I wanted to shoehorn it in because it happened this month and everything that happens this month has to be within theme. Yes. You've been making books. Yeah, I've been making books. I've been book binding uh, and sewing and it's really fun. I don't really have the materials. Yeah, look how nice it's it is. It's a little book. Can I hold it up to the thing? Mm -hmm. Whoops. On. There we go. You can kind of see it. You've been doing that, it's and nice I've been doing like a thing to do, thing to do with my hands. Cards. Yeah, you made those cards. I Because you're a sweet heart. Aw, I know. No, yeah, I've ma I did a project of making. I'm just like drawing some cards for friends, like a bunch of people that I never really have been able to like for the past year or whatever. First of all, I can't afford to buy gifts for a lot of people, but also I just think receiving something in the mail, like actual mail, is really nice. And so I wanted to make cards for all of my friends and loved ones. And I like drawing. And that was really meditative too. It was like just working on something artistically, like working really hard on something that was not to show online or to show to anyone. It was like just for um, people. You've been doing yoga. Yes, I have Speaking been doing yoga. Meditative. Yeah. Well, that's pretty new, right? Mm -hmm. Is that this month? Oh, I guess so. How did all so. these things happen this month? I get this yeah, month felt so chill. Yeah, a lot of change. There's always a lot of change. I <laughs> think that's, that's yeah. why yeah. we're getting used to, used to the rapid change. I guess good so. Good things happening. 
I did not think that all this stuff happened before I sat down and wrote down that list. I was like, this month, nothing has happened. We've basically just been chilling. But we haven't. But we, we've just been gay. <laughs> we have been gay. <laughs> and we'll continue to be for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. uh, I almost went to Pride in Houston. That would have been super gay as well. But now looking back on all the things we've been doing this month, maybe it's not surprising that I was sick that week and couldn't go. But tell me us in the comments below what gay things you did this month because we know you did things that were gay we know we hope you did yeah we can only hope and yeah. but until i see you again always remember that we we'll are that. epic heroes today and every day of our lives thank you so much for watching bye, -bye. i'll see you in the next video bye Thanks. Thanks. i think i'm okay now Aww. <laughs> 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 <laughs>